Just a quick update on Storm, you guys. Her infection is getting pretty well cleared up and the eye is getting less and less cloudy every day. I've been trying to get some close-up shots of her, uh, her left eye so that you can see that uh, it's not 100%, but it's looking so much better compared to when we first rescued her. And the vets still got her on a little bit of antibiotic. She's graduated from a liquid to a tablet, which is a bit of a pain to give it to her. Um, she's super playful, super playful. She's got huge claws. She's like Wolverine, you know, that the, the claws just go and they come right out of the fingers. It's crazy. And she loves playing with Molly. But uh, overall, she's in great spirit. She's running around the house playing with Molly. This is Pooper the parrot. Pooper's a Senegal parrot. We've had Pooper since 2004. 2004 is how many years? Man, he's, he's like 15 years. So he's a Senegal parrot. He doesn't like to fly, but he will fly. Pooper can talk. Sometimes he says, very quietly though, he says, hi Chad. Hi Chad. I've never been able to get a proper recording of him because uh, it's super low key, like just very quiet. Hi Chad. But Pooper doesn't stay at the farm. He's, he's been with us for years and years and years. And he's, uh, he's a good bird. He squawks a little bit, but uh, he's a good size. He's quite calm. He's uh, a little skittish of the new kitty and Molly, but uh, he's got pretty cool colorings. We named him Pooper because he just poops like every 20 minutes like clockwork. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. What is she doing? What is she doing? Uh oh, the kitty's climbing up. She's climbing up to get to the bird. The bird's gonna fly. Oh my God, the bird's gonna fly. The bird's gonna fly. Oh, it's a standoff, folks. It's a standoff. It's a standoff. Who's gonna get attacked? I can't get a good view of it. I didn't expect this to happen, actually. That's it, the bird's done. The cat has taken over the roost. And the bird is down there on my leg. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you scaring Pooper like that? Huh? Why are you scaring Pooper like that? Get off of there. Which one's gonna move first? Molly, why are you breathing so hard? Morning guys, Chad here. As you can see, it's a beautiful snowy morning. Thanks for tuning in to this episode, Chronicles of a Farm Safe Startup here at the Hidden Spring Farm. Don't really have too much to do on the farm today. I'm gonna check in with the chickens. I'm gonna let Molly out of my mini. She's in my mini right now. Remember to click that subscribe button, hit that like. Got to keep this subscriber train going. Thanks very much for watching. Appreciate you. Let's get this girl out of my car here. Molly, you want to come to the snow? Huh? You want to come and play with the snow?
Let's go and check these ducks. Check for eggs. I wonder how many eggs there are. Can you guys want you guys want to guess? I guess you can't guess. By the time you see this video, I would have already gotten the eggs. Ooh, I hear them rumbling. I hear them rumbling. Molly, you're blocking my road here. I see an egg, folks. I see an egg. I see one egg, guys, right there. One. See that? One egg? Is that it? Just one egg? Yesterday there was four. <laughs> chickens make sure they're fine and then Molly and I are gonna get in the mule and I hope that the mule can drive okay in this snow it's only about I don't know three four inches but uh, I have a trail cam way out there in the woods that uh, I spotted some deer tracks and I just wanted to go take a look and connect it to my laptop and I also have this trail cam in this barn. Remember this trail cam? That's I'm trying to see what's digging. I think it might be a chipmunk, but you never know. It could be a squirrel too. Let's just check on these chickens. Hello chickens. God, you went through your feet again? You guys eat too much. You're a bunch of pigs. Okay, I gotta get them some feed and then we can go. trouble. Molly, you'll be nice. Hey, those are my boots. Those are my boots. Let's hope there's something on this baby. Molly and I are just gonna head on down to the drive shed and get my mule out and see if she can drive in this three inches of snow. I think she should be able to, it's a four by four. Well, it's a four by two and then you can change it into four by four mode. So hopefully it's not an issue. Molly's having so much fun in the snow. Look at her. tracks look it's like following like a little bear cub look it's really like she's really a little miniature bear cub like a panda bear anyway she's got her whole face in the snow now Molly come here There 
she is, folks. And we're off. Oh yeah, she's driving okay. It's not too deep, so she'll be fine. Molly, your ears folded. Okay, let's take this back to my shop. I got this one and the one from the barn, and let's see if there's any footage on it. I see deer tracks all over the place just driving out here through the snow, but I don't see any deer tracks right here. Oh, I see something right there. That could be deer, but it's far away. The, if it's at night, the camera might not pick it up that far away, so I'll come back at you if I got some footage. <laughs> I love the look of the evergreens. I really love the look of the evergreens when the snow has hit them and they're just the snow's just sitting there. It looks so cool. Anyways guys, I'm gonna call it a day. I did find some video of, uh, there's a little glimpse, I think it's a coyote, and there's a good number of uh, video clips of deer, a couple in like dusk daytime, but mostly at night. So I'm gonna include that in this episode because I think it's cool. I think you guys might wanna know, it's so awesome that we have all this wildlife around here. So thanks for watching. So I got this one barn camera in there and you'll never guess what it is. I was, I was way off. I thought it was a red squirrel or a chipmunk. It's not. I don't know if you guys can see this. That's a big, huge rat folks, a rat. Oh my God, that's disgusting. How can I get a rat in the barn? I didn't know rats dig.